Pride comes before a fall. For months, Andrew Tate had been gloating and posturing on social media. A narcissistic lowlife obnoxiously crowing about his wealth, as many decent, hard-working people across the Western world struggled with rampant inflation and a cost-of-living crisis and tried to find the money to give their kids a decent Christmas. For months, he's been showing off his collection of supercars, Bugattis and Lamborghinis, the sort of car that no self-respecting grown-up would be caught dead in. Every day, he seemed to afflict the internet with another one of his childish, testosterone fueled rapey, roid-headed rants, building a sad army of floundering, disaffected, underachieving, snivelling, sexually frustrated, angry young beta males in desperate need of a father figure. A thumb-headed, fake-accented snake oil salesman pretending to have all the knowledge, all the answers to help rescue teenage boys with absent fathers from their failing lonely lives. A peddler of vague conspiratorial twat speak, portraying himself as an enemy of the state. A man who's escaped a corrupt system and can teach you how to do the same. A man with powerful enemies at the highest level of the globalist hierarchy, just waiting for the opportunity to take him down. And yet ultimately, who is he? A man who had some success at the niche minority sport of kickboxing. A man who started a pornographic webcam business in a Romanian casino chain with his brother and then expanded his wealth by investing in Bitcoin. A shady, vapid businessman with little interest in anything other than money. A man who mixed misogyny and Islam and then imagined he'd found himself a winning value system. A narcissist who imagined himself to be intellectually and physically superior to all around him, who was ultimately made to look like an imbecile by an autistic 19-year-old eco-lunatic on Twitter. Enraged at his humiliation, he posted a video online with a pizza delivery box in the forefront that disastrously for him let authorities know that he was in Romania and led to his ostentatious seedy man cave being raided and him and his brother being carted off to jail. Just the day before, he was boasting of owning 33 cars. Well, it doesn't matter how many cars you own if you're in prison, does it? Because you can't drive a single one of them. And it doesn't matter how much money Tate has in his pockets to pay whorish women to give him some of their time. There are no women in the cell block he'll be inhabiting. And in all likelihood, he'll be considered the woman amongst the hardened criminals on his wing and forced to bend over for the soap in the showers accordingly. We'll see just how much of a top G he is when he's waddling around the prison yard crying. Teenage boys, young men, need better role models than this fraud, this pied piper of poisonous garbage, and as a society we're failing them. Please do like and subscribe and support my comedy by following the link below this video. Also, please do check out my return to stand-up, currently playing on the Comedy Unleashed YouTube channel, which you can also find a link for beneath this video.